Hi, I'm Jürgen Hansen, and I'm going to show you how to create simple projects using the latest release of Saffron Planner, the Saffron Planner 7.2. If you're brand new to Saffron Planner, this movie will help you get up to speed with this powerful program and how to get the most out of it. I will show you how to set up activities, add dependencies, and create simple reports. If you're familiar with the previous versions of Saffron Planner, then the user interface should feel familiar to you, but with a cleaner, more modern look. Both the editor and Gantt have been updated with new functions, but the biggest difference is the tool menu. Long gone are Saffron Planner's menu bars and toolbars, and from Saffron Planner 7.2, they have been replaced with a ribbon bar. The ribbon is divided into multiple tabs, those tabs are generally organized into particular tasks. As you see, each tab is divided into sections. For instance, the File tab is divided into File, Save, Interface, and so on. Above the ribbon, we find a quick access menu, which provide access to the commonly used commands like Save, Open, and Preview. And you're also able to customize this uh, quick access menu bar. And at the right above the ribbon, we also have a help button, which opens the help file. As you see, the overall layout of Saffron Planner 7.2 is much easier than the previous versions. If you use some minutes to take a look of the overall organization of the interface, you will be able to work much more efficiently. So let's start with the basic. So what is a schedule? The simplest definition is a group of related tasks that together achieves one goal. The goal might be building a building, relocating offices, or just coordinating a small group of people. These tasks are called activities and take a certain time to complete. You also have milestones, which indicates a certain point in your schedule. Milestones occur on one date. It has no duration and are primarily used for showing the beginning or end of key pieces of work. In its simplest form, the bar chart shows a series of bars representing activities along a timeline. With Saffron Planner, you will be creating your own schedules in a matter of minutes. It is simple for the first time user, but it also offers the power and functionality required by the experienced user. This is a step-by-step -step guide, which will give you what you need to create a basic schedule in Saffron Planner. The first thing I would like to show you is how to set up a brand new project in Saffron Planner. So to do that, we need to click the File tab and then the New icon. It will bring up the File Properties windows for a new project. Here you can enter information like name, title, calendar units, and calendar. I'm going to call my project Office Relocation. And the calendar units on days. Then you need to set the time now date to the start date of your project. That's what I need and then I'll press OK. You now have a blank project where you can start planning from scratch. But before we start creating activities, we need to bring up the activity information window. If you go to the View tab and click the Activity icon, the Activity Information window will appear in the lower part of your screen. Now we're ready to start creating activities. It is really important that you save your schedule to a file when building your plan. So before we continue this lesson, I will show you how to do that. From the File tab, select the Save As icon and then Save to File. Here you give your project a name. You don't need to worry about including the file extension as Saffron Planner automatically adds this for you.
From now on, when you click the save icon, either in the quick access menu or in the ribbon, all your changes will be saved to this file. Saffron Planner is a project planning application. So you're going to, going to be working with activities, links and resources. Well, in this chapter, we're going to focus on that, beginning with simply adding or inserting activities. There are several different ways of doing that, but before we start, we need to explain the difference between adding and inserting activities. When you add an activity, it will always be placed after the last activities in your plan. When you insert an activity, it will always be placed into the plan on the line above the highlighted activity. So let's move back to our plan. There are several ways to create activities and I will show you some of them. The first is the icon in the home tab in the ribbon. Then you can right click in the table area. You can choose on both locations to add or insert activity. The last way is to draw activities. You can draw the activity directly into the Gantt after the last activity in the plan. Move the mouse pointer to an empty row in the Gantt chart and place the cursor on the date which will be the start date for the new activity. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag the pointer to the right to set the duration like this. As I said, there are several other ways to create activities, but I leave it with those three. If you want to delete or remove activities, you can use the same two ways as we looked at when creating activities. You can right click and then delete, or use the icon in the home tab. When you added or insert your activities, they will all have the same duration and start date. So you need to plan your activities and you need to put in the time it will take you to complete each activity. Now we're going to look at how we can do that, like add links and how to adjust duration and dates. When we created our project, we set the start date for our project in the time now box. So that is a good starting point. The first thing we're going to look at is putting tasks in the right order. Tasks are rarely done independent of each other in a project. The start or finish of some tasks trigger the start or finish of others. In Safran Planner, these relationships are called links. Well, links aren't about which task comes first, it's really about which task controls the other. So, for example, here we have two tasks. And then we can link them with a finish to start link. That means that the finish of move furniture determines the start of transport boxes. So the first one is the one that's in control and it's called a predecessor. The other one is that it's being controlled, so it's called a successor. Well, if you're working on task links, the best way to do that is in the home tab in the ribbon by highlighting the two activities and clicking the icon. It will create a finish to start link. You can also draw them. If you hover your mouse pointer over the bar in the gun, you see that the mouse pointer changes. You may now drag a link from the activity to your successor. So after you get your project tasks linked with the right types of links, your project schedule really begins to take shape. But now we're going to look into changing the duration of the activities. You change the duration by dragging the right end of the activity bar to the end date you want it to finish. 
Note that as you stretch the activity, this will affect the start and finish dates of the succeeding activity in your schedule. Repeat this for all activities to give your activities realistic duration. Safran Planner offers an easy to use and straightforward outlining capability, which allows you to organize schedules into steps or lets you collapse or roll up to subtasks to show a summary when you're working with large schedule. I will show you how to do that. First, you need to create a summary task. I will name it building one. You now have inserted one activity that will be changed into a summary task during the next three steps. First, select and mark the activities below. Then press the indent activity icon on the toolbar. Clicking the minus sign at the left collapses your schedule to show you the schedule's summary. You may expand to view the full details by clicking the plus sign at the left of the summary activity. Your bar chart is nearly finished. Communication is a big part of project management. In Safran Planner, you can print your schedule to distribute to management and team members. You can also copy the content to paste it into other programs. So if you want to create a print of your project, first go to the File tab. Click the Print Preview icon. And as you can see, it's not nice. Before printing, we might want to use the Page Setup feature to add titles, logos, and format your printed report. Most reports have titles at the top and a footer area at the bottom. To produce exciting graphical outputs, Safran Planner lets you add logos in the header area. Choose the Page Setup option from the File tab. Use the Page Setup uh, window to format the final results of your re printed report. Let's go to the header and add a new logo. Like this. I can then go up and add a header for the report and press preview. You can also paste your reports from Print Preview into other Windows applications such as Word and PowerPoint. When you're in Print Preview mode, select the Copy from the Clipboard section. You can now paste the report into, for instance, PowerPoint. You can also add the report into an email by clicking the Email icon. It will then automatically create a PDF file and add it to in an email. Now I covered the basic for setting up a schedule in Safran Planner. You have seen how to create projects and set up basic project information and calendars. We explored creating and linking different types of activities to build a schedule. We looked at setting up reports and walked through ways to share project information with others. Now that you've seen how to use Safran Planner, good luck and thank you for joining me.